the Manor and Castle area of Sheffield draws its name from the original Tudor Manor Castle. That's where Mary Queen of Scots was imprisoned. The communities in the area were established out of the slum clearance programmes before and after the war. Designed as model dwellings for Sheffield steel workers and their families, large-scale council housing estates and huge deck access blocks of flats were the order of the day. Manor had been planned in the 1920s as a model housing estate for Sheffield steel workers and their families. Fifty years on, Manor received two serious shocks to the way people lived and worked. The first involved where they lived. People's homes were in serious trouble. Due to black mortar construction, houses were literally falling apart at the seams. The second blow was just as devastating and changed how people lived. Steel had made Sheffield rich and famous for over 150 years. The knowledge that you made the best steel in the world and that millions of people depended on Sheffield for their livelihoods provided local people with more than a job of work, more than food and clothing. Steel making created a strong sense of identity. Sheffield was said to be a stronger steel and there was a belief that full employment in the city could be depended upon and that nothing could change that. The collapse of the traditional steel industry was swift and shocking. Many people felt confused, angry and powerless to change things for the better. What can you do? I mean, I've been in, I've been in steel firms 30 odd years and this, you know what I mean? You think you've got on a job for life and all of a sudden there's, there's nothing, you're redundant, there's nothing and it's, you just don't know what to do yourself. You're lost and you've only got a wretched old money coming in. It's, you lose self-confidence. As the social fabric began to unwind before our eyes, some people began to lose faith in the future. Not everyone felt this way, but keeping a positive spirit alive hasn't been easy. It's taken us a long time to rebuild our self-confidence as a community. Manor Employment Project was established in 1980 by a group of local residents and community workers. The idea was to try to provide employment that was owned and controlled locally, so it couldn't be taken away like the jobs in heavy industry. Manor Employment Project ran for five years. At its peak, MEP had 50 people in employment and was turning over about a quarter of a million pounds in terms of privately generated income. However, self-employment proved much more expensive than had been originally anticipated. The amount of investment required could not be attracted to the project. The site was given back to Sheffield City Council so it could be sold for redevelopment. The remaining assets were used to finance what was to become the next stage of development.